the stars. The stars that were over my head this morning were there from the first day. Those stars I hid crook-necked from in cities while traveling my wayward way. Slowly at first, then faster, I began to see. Eyes blinded at first by neon and street lamps, and the stars' night's closeness only speaking in a few forays into the midnights between cities, be dazzling my eyes to see the jewels darkness was strung with. And always I wanted to stop and enjoy and stare and pray, but a motor inside me was going too fast, and in vans or cars I sped back to cities to undo my mind's tightly wound spring. Then in a dozen years I came out under the stars, and behold, the canopy of heaven was still there, and I murmured and prayed in valleys like green cups for my love, and it said, You were too busy before, but we have always been here, and we always shall be. That which I was too busy to love patiently waited for me. Now I have finished my business and am free to love, and the morning star's song has come to me with a joy that had always been concealed inside my breast, and the heavens have exploded into singing and the weeping of the morning dew.